Between Darkest Hour and Dunkirk, we've seen these big World War II movies. Why do you think these movies are resonating in this time right now? I, I think I think the uh, the design of them both being made in the same year is purely coincidental. Mm -hmm. um, but I think they're res well. We don't know about Darkest Hour because uh, audiences haven't seen it yet. But I think that um, there's a lot going on politically and socially that people can buy into in uh, Dunkirk, and I think the same from the small amount of material that people have seen on Darkest Hour. We're facing certain defeat on land, the annihilation of our army, and imminent invasion. We must negotiate peace talks. When will the lesson be learned? You cannot reason with a tiger when your head is in its mouth! Nonsense. The only slippery slope. Would you stop interrupting me while I am interrupting you? There's little Nazis back, yeah. so that... Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's what? There's yeah, it's little relevant. Nazis around. Yeah. So, yeah. It's relevant you're, all over you're, again. You're totally that's right. that's about, true. Yeah. It's that's about probably thirteen percent Really? Yeah, right now. What's that? 13% rose from 4 to 13% in Germany, what would constitute National Front. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, there's, there's nationalism everywhere, yeah. there's hate and bigotry everywhere, yeah. and people are starting to notice and go, you know what, we maybe need to stand up. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, that's what Churchill did in, yeah. Uh, yeah. in 1940. And he got a lot of things wrong, but he got the, the, big, the big thing right, yeah. and that was you've got to stand up to this kind of oppression. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's, hopefully, that's what will resonate today with audiences. Yeah. Sorry. What were the key decisions that had to be made on Baby Driver? <laughs> oh. um, well, we were very lucky because we had a um, writer-director, mm -hmm. um, and when you have a writer-director, it's, um, it's, it's, Edgar it's Wright. yeah, Edgar Wright, who is a genius in his own right. We'd made three films with him, so we had a great relationship with him and his producing partner, Naira, and it, it's very easy because you, you have the vision quite right there, mm. and my job, I, the way I see it, is to, uh, to, to make it happen, to mm -hmm. find any which way a bit like what you were saying, you know, with the producer. My job is to make sure he can do the best possible thing. So the only really big decision, or well not big decision, the big challenge was getting the money. Hmm. Um, and actually, uh, uh, Amy was uh, partly responsible for making that happen. That's very nice. Were the specific songs in the script? Yeah, he wrote, um, the script was a, I don't know if we sent it to you, it was an yes. iPad, it was on an iPad, so we'd send, it's quite expensive in development. We're sending right. iPads oh. everywhere. Yeah, you got to listen. We could take a movie for the cost <laughs> of sending that yeah, script exactly. out. No, you got it to was, listen. It was you not had, a, it was you not had a to listen to the music production. as you were reading. Exactly. Oh, so the music would play as you were reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certain so yeah. when you when you yeah, got awesome. when you it got was, to the scene, you, you just awesome tapped the uh, the scene description uh, header, yeah. and the scene and the music played as you were reading the. That's more complicated than any movie. Wow. Yeah, me too. At the time, I thought, God, this is brilliant. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna make an app. We're gonna sell it in the industry and I thought no one else is going to do this so it's probably not a great business um, but yeah and all of the songs Edgar had chosen uh, only one changed out of 50 songs in the, in the movie wow so we pre-approved them all before we started so, what shooting was the song bill the song bill was substantially less than you would think. I mean, that's what we, we do a mm. bigger version, not bigger, but a more expensive version of what Jason does. We've, you know, the only reason we've ever been able to make the amount of films we make and the varied amount of films that we make at Working Title is by keeping the cost low. And mm. I think being based in London helps that enormously. Yeah, that, and so we, well, I shouldn't say it on camera, but you know, you negotiate through the international rights holders. Yeah, right. and, um, we had a brilliant lady who does all our clearances and, uh, it, it came in uh, at a level that meant that we could do it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from The Hollywood Reporter.